Hi, welcome to this session on SAP Warehouse Management Print Control. In this session, I will be discussing on how to set up print control functionality in SAP Warehouse Management. In a warehouse, we typically need to print several documents that are necessary for day-to-day -day functioning. The print control functionality allows us to set up a configuration to print the documents that are required in a warehouse. Now, the SAP WM print control is different from the other modules wherein the forms are printed by use of condition types and we maintain condition records to print various forms. In a warehouse, we would be maintaining all the necessary inputs in the print control functionality that has been given and all the prints are controlled via this print control functionality. Using a print control function, we can define what all documents we would want to print, uh, how these documents are to be printed, like how many copies, etc. And we can also have the flexibility of adding or defining printers uh, the way we want. Let us see how this is done in the system. Uh, the path is as shown on the screen. It is the T code is OMLV. So let's have a look in the system itself. So here I am. I have already logged into IDES and uh, I will show you the path by navigating through SPRO. Or else you can use the T code OMLV directly to access the menu. warehouse management and activities and then we have the print control in the print control functionality you would see multiple objects which we would need to define uh, in order to have a final printout uh, we would be discussing these objects uh, one by one and uh, understanding the significance of maintaining and how these control the print let us see the first object spool code as we know in sap the labels or the slips or the forms are always always printed via the spool now the spool is something that is controlling the number of copies um, it would be if you would want to keep the spool after the printout is done or you want to delete after the printout is done all these things are controlled over here uh, the title that you see is the definition of this pool and it uh, does not have a specific nomenclature you can use it the way you want this is just to differentiate between different spools that, that you would want to set up and this typically can be seen when you uh, trigger a printout you would see this definition or this title in the um, name of this pool uh, then we have a control to print immediately delete the print after the printout is done and we have the new spool order control which controls whether you would need a new spool to be generated alongside the original spool that is triggered so we we can have a reference of warehouse 001 which is the standard warehouse given by sap and uh, whenever you are designing your warehouse and if you copy from warehouse 001 you would be getting all these settings as is and you would be needed to change them the way your printing requirements are for your warehouse let us see the second object that is printer pool labels now if there is a need to print labels alongside your normal forms and if there is a, a special label printer that is to be uh, used then you can define that label printer at this place so alongside your normal 
documents you are able to print a label uh, on a separate printer which can be maintained over here so both the printouts would happen parallelly let us see the third object that is the sort profile now the sort profile actually controls the way the do items are going to be printed we have a number of columns here that uh, uh, can be used to define uh, different fields which uh, the system would pick up during printing of transfer orders and group them accordingly or sort them accordingly and uh, trigger the printout so say for example you have a large warehouse and you have a, a need to print a particular a set of uh, transfer orders items for a specific storage type first and then you would want to separate the rest of the items in a different storage type so that you are able to uh, give it to different people for picking so that can be controlled uh, by using one of these fields so if I had to show you something over here let us see if we can I will use a two digit sort ID 01. This field allows me to sort the TO items, and the first parameter that would be sorted on is maintained over here. So, uh, standard SAP would give you something for sorting this on the spool first. So, you can enter the field from the menu. So, I will first sort on this pool next we have a control over here we have a checkbox over here this checkbox actually controls uh, whether you would want to sort it in an ascending order or a descending order if you do not maintain anything it means it is going to sort in an ascending order if you maintain a checkbox it sorts in a descending order the second checkbox here is controlling the break criteria if you check this meaning once the TO items are sorted in this parameter if the parameter changes then uh, it would be printed on a different page the second criteria could be the printer so I can directly maintain the field for the printer so this would sort on the printer on which uh, the particular transfer order is triggered so if you are um, using different printers for the printing different uh, items or different transfer orders then based on the printer on which this is triggered you can segregate the items and uh, it would be printed in that order third you can use anything like a transfer order or a warehouse number and so on and so forth you can specify up to 14 uh, 15 parameters on which to sort so what the system is going to do is first it will check what is the first criteria then if the criteria as per the criteria it is going to sort and club all the items that match this criteria second within those items it is going to sort based on the basis of the second criteria which in case is the printer so uh, if this pool is the same and then it checks the printers if there is a different printer then it would first print it would group on the basis of the printers and print in the ascending order of the printer name that it finds within that if there is a third criteria maintained then it would be printing on the basis of this criteria and so on you can maintain the criteria as per your printing uh, needs I won't save these entries we have this very important definition called the print code the print code is 
quite important as in it controls the form that is to be printed for the movement types that happen in a warehouse so standard SAP defines uh, some print codes already so we are going to refer to 001 and we have something called uh, print code 01 uh, which is used to print a single print or a TO item so here we define this is the description that we would give and we need to maintain the form that uh, we would be designing this is the standard SAP form and uh, if you need to change it most of the times the case is yes you need to change it because typically everyone would want to have the form in their own way uh, you would name the form and put the name of the form over here besides this we have control for printing time whether you want to print it immediately or you would print it later then the sort criteria that we have already created then you have the checkbox for combination if you would want to print several TOs together then the spool code that we have defined and several other fields that you can use if you want to print labels then you can use these label forms and so on these are these are quite self-explanatory we would mark this print code and later revisit this when we are actually doing the configuration for movement types <coughs> next we have to see the assignments uh, that are possible the printer assignment that are possible and which objects we can link the printers to we can go in the order in which the objects have been arranged the the printer assignment for a warehouse now this particular config we can control uh, how we want to print the particular transfer orders now this is the warehouse this is the source storage type this is the destination storage type the this is no print which will mean if you take this then there is no print that would be coming up and this is the printer that you are setting up now what this controls is if you want to specify a specific printer for say inbound and a specific printer for an outbound so what you can do here is you can mention the warehouse and you for inbound it could be the source storage type is 902 because it is the interim destination storage type uh, in the transfer order and the destination storage type would be anything and you can specify the printer if similarly you have a re need to print uh, on a different printer in an outbound transfer order because maybe your warehouse has two different doors from where you want to transfer the material out then you would need to specify a different printer which is close to the outbound area you can do so by specifying a different combination over here the source would be anything and the destination would be 916 and you can specify the printer LP maybe 02 or whatever so this is one control how the printer can be uh, adjusted the way you want in your warehouse next we have the picking area if you have a picking area defined for a warehouse and you would want to print whatever transfer orders are within that picking area then you can directly specify a printer at this place this would pick up the printer over here and print it based on the picking area picked from the transfer order next we have the storage type meaning you can define the printer per storage type so as you can see a printer is defined for storage type 001 002 whatever the way you want it so SAP has given an option of uh, defining printers at these three nodes at the warehouse at the picking area and storage type which gives you enough functionality and flexibility to choose the way you want to print it however if you maintain printers 
in all of these combinations then SAP when a transfer order is triggered is going to look at the printers maintained in this precedence the the printer maintained in the warehouse movement node if it finds a printer over there it is going to use that printer and ignore whatever if at all maintained in picking area if it does not find a printer for the combination in the transfer order that you have maintained then it would go and look for a printer if it finds in this particular node the picking area if it doesn't still find a printer it will go further and see if you it can find a printer it defined in the storage type node if it does not find a printer over here then it is going to print the document on the default printer of the user let us now have a look at how the print code functionality combines with the movement type to give you the actual printout we have already defined the print codes over here we discussed that the print codes are basically the forms and the two digit numeric code that we have defined over here now we are going to assign these print codes to specific movement types so that that particular form is triggered when uh, that movement type is hit so here we assign the print code so for example if you have a goods receipt being done uh, the movement type is 101 and you have defined a print code 01 for it this means that your transfer order form that you have defined in the print code node is going to be picked based on the trigger of this moment type now sap has already done the basic configuration and assignment of the print code based on the movement type so what what is being done over here is that all the movement types that would lead to an inbound uh, process would be given a print code 01 so it could be 101 it could be 202 it could be 242 so all these movement types are going to lead to an inbound process and that's why they would be given a print code 01 however you can change the way you want it for any specific movement type then finally we have the warehouse program that is given by SAP now this is very important to be assigned to your warehouse without which no printouts are possible these this program is typically for a single printout that you would be uh, triggering in the warehouse we have another program that is can be used if you are using multiple processing so this is the program RLK 0 mm 40 this can be used or this is used when you have multiple functionality multiple printouts functionality meaning uh, you have something like two-step picking or wave picking so during such kind of uh, scenarios you would be using this print program let us now have a look at the analyze functionality what uh, typically is done is when you are done with the printing and you want to analyze how the system is looking up at the data you can use this functionality once you have already triggered a print so I would uh, take an example from the system itself uh, this transfer order is 1 and the item sorry the transfer order is 5 and the item is 1 and we will analyze how the system is picking up the data so that you can make out whether you are or whether the system is doing it right as expected so this is the to and this is the form this is the spool and this is the printer so most of the times you would be looking at this place whether the printer that is being picked up is correct as per your definition if there is an error it would be displayed over here so this is a very handy functionality uh, to analyze what is happening uh, in the print program and so that you can uh, take an action to correct things So with this we have uh, completed all the nodes that are required to configure the print control in warehouse management 
If you wish to have a look at some more tutorials uh, in warehouse management, you can visit my site sapwmonline.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.